orange um, label. Comes out white, dries clear. That's why the water looks so cool, is because you get some color, but some transparency, and so it automatically looks watery. So that is the magic of Floetrol and Unicorn Spit. So let me just show you what I am talking about. I put it in these little tiny bottles, like ketchup bottles or something, and I run a line wherever I want to start my water feature. And because it dries clear, you want to add white. If you want to see some white, add white. And I've got, this is unicorn spit in these little tiny bottles, in case you don't know. It's just this. They're all non-toxic, um, jasmine or lemongrass scented, scented naturally, absolutely fabulous. I, <laughs> I am an affiliate and I'm absolutely thrilled to be one. So on my profile pages and such, you will find a link if you're interested in trying it, fabulous. And if not, you know, also Amazon carries it, Michaels, whatever, you know, just find it. <laughs> Get it, <laughs> use it. So let me try some blue sparkle just for fun. And I'm just laying over on top of the flow trawl. I'm laying just different colors of unicorn spit. I just wanna see some sort of flow coming down is what I'm looking for. And like I said, this is a piece of junk wood. It was a cradle board, but I've messed with it so many times with no direction. So I'm not really afraid to ruin anything. <laughs> Now, normally, if I was going to do waves and stuff like that, now, I don't always do this, I'm just playing, but normally, I would take a palette knife and I would kind of drag it in a swoop like that. You know, let me get some more white on so you can see it. This is just how I do my stuff, y'all. There's so many different ways, and you do you. Whatever you like to do, that's what you should be doing. Normally, I take a little palette knife and stick it in my white and pull it down over, right? But with flow troll, you can get really cool flows just by, if you don't, you know, want it in a certain area or whatever, you want some free flowing stuff. Flow troll is cool because you can just do this with it, with your unicorn spit. And don't be afraid that it all mixes together or whatever. Don't be afraid of anything. Just have fun with it. And since there's really no direction on this piece of wood, it's very freeing. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it messing up. I just do this until I see something that looks pretty cool. Now, if I want it to come over the edge, I can just let it drop down over the edge. Just let it flow. All right, so say this is a wave and we want this to be a beach then I would go ahead and put some darker colors. It doesn't have to have flow troll underneath of it. It can go straight on the wood, but it can if you want it to. Always darker colors inside the curl of the wave. You know, that's my go-to. Looking for a brush of some sort. Welcome guys. I know it's been a while since I did a live on TikTok. I want to shout out to Bold Dreamer and Chunky for subscription and all teammates. Thank you so much. You are beautiful people. So supportive. So I'm just tapping in this dark color. And the dark color I'm using is a mix of unicorn spits. <laughs> it's um, purples and browns. I'm going to just put it in these little alcohol ink bottles, basically, is what they I bought them for in the beginning. And then I started getting the larger size from Amazon. So that was cool. All right, so we've got some sort of wave action. I'm going to go ahead and put another bit of wave in here. So more flow troll, more blue. And instead of using the sparkling, um, let me explain, just in case you've never painted with the Unicorn Spit, it's actually a gel stain. So you can stain your wood grain with it, and it would be colored grain. So you can still see the wood, which I absolutely love. Um, also, the gel stain, sparkling, 
is more transparent and it's got the glitters. And this is not transparent. So they're fun to work with and they complement each other. And honestly, you guys, some of my favorite paintings have come out of something that looked in the beginning like this because I like kind of weird abstract things, you know? And just by doing that, you can see like, right? Or I could put a fairy in there. I mean, whatever. I may just go ahead and go all the way up this page this board. Since I'm not absolutely thrilled with it, let's see what happens when I just mush through it. <laughs> all right, so I went all the way over everything. I mean, it's like it hasn't ruined it, right? Because it wasn't anything to start with. I'm just gonna poke around with this brush for a little while and see what happens. Get some darkers. This is so calming, <laughs> official. I had one up here at one time. I put it blue because it doesn't have to be yellow if it's a sun. You can make it any color you want. Just for the fun of it. All right. Well, it's getting interesting. I mean, it's something more than it was. I still like this white swish right up here and I still want something like that. Just something that's not normal and explainable. <laughs> People ask why? What is it? I don't know. It's just fun to make. So let me just push that up. And because it's unicorn spit and I've got a damp brush. It's just going to give me this ghosting look when it's dry. I can go ahead and put more white on it, or I can actually use acrylics with my unicorn spit if I want. And alcohol inks, that's a great combination. Even in the flow trawl, you can use your alcohol inks or your unicorn spit and acrylic combination, whatever you want. Just mix it all together. It's fun. Just same brush, still damp, just pushing it around. So I like it Ooh. enough. Let me show you what it did. Can you see that? So that's fun. Let's see what else we can do. Emma Wood from the wrong side. Can you see? Push it up this way a little. All right, so this is Fama Wood. It's a wood filler. Uh, you can get this on the Unicorn Spit site as well. You can see it's a putty type. And I am going to use it to make rocks and a beach. I probably will end up putting a lighthouse in there with it as well. But for now, I'm just gonna smear it around right into the wet unicorn spit. 
not worried about it. I did some family wood fairy trees the other day, same stuff. And I have to say, I had an absolute blast with it. Um, I used to, and still at times, do use spackling, regular wall spackling, to do art with. But the family wood is, it stays wet longer, so I like that. You have more working time. My family wood, it goes, even while it's still wet. And the only thing I would say is when you're using your brushes into your family wood, you know it's going to get all gooped up in your brush, so make sure you wash them out real good. And I'm just made that dark, so at the very end, I'm getting it wet, my brush, it's getting thinner and thinner as it gets to where the water is, right? Let me see, let me see what I could do. I've got some actual sand, and this is still wet, so let me just drop some of sand in here. That is some parchment paper. I'm just going to try and get this sand. A little bit secure into this so I'll just push it see if it's oh look what happened oh my goodness <laughs> oh gosh I love it oh how cool it gave me a weird art deco looking shape I don't know if I'm gonna keep it but it was interesting can you see the texture that it gave me how fun is that yeah, I'm loving that. All right, that was just the flow troll. It looks white until it's dry, so then it goes clear. So if you want white, add white. Okay, there's my dark blue. Wow, it's really getting pushed up. Must be pretty thick down here. There's some white. Oh, that's pretty. The whole flow, I'm beginning to like it, amazingly enough. I just think I'm going on white. Sparkle, purple sparkle. Let's see what happens when I do something like that. You guys make your own colors. It's so fun. And when you get a bottle that's almost empty and you can't get anything out of it, put water in it. It'll just keep going for you. Absolutely the longest <laughs> lasting paint you'll ever find because it's a gel stain. It's not a paint. Eventually it will turn out. But it is definitely not a microwave process today. Some days are, some days are a crock pot. And this is a crock pot day. See if I can make a piece of land with my family wood. I mean, it could be like a cliff, who knows, right? Way back there somewhere. Another rock right here. Underneath of it. And some whites. This is why I like Flotrol. <laughs> this wood filler stuff. I'm thinking we could probably just 
make a hole right here. It's cool because you can see the background color already, so it does look like you kind of like looking through it. Didn't like that. I have to step back and look at it because I do like it. It just doesn't, you know, make sense. It does. It's not doing what I intended it to do when I first came in today. So I'm having to step back and take a look at it and stop trying to force something that is not going to work and go with what it wants to become. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> doesn't have to make sense. I'm gonna stop right there, just for now. I'm All right, Gleason TV, thanks for the love and support. <laughs> you guys have a great Tuesday. Love and light. Bye.